Hey everyone, how's it going? So today we're going to talk about Angel Woman, uh, how you get together, and get to about evolution line of uh, of Funnymon. Now, first of all, I have here Angel Woman at five stars, and I have enough shards to get her to two hundred shard. Uh, two hundred. Sorry, I have two hundred shards, which I can get to six stars. <laughs> I almost mixed that up, and that's gonna cost you 12, uh, 1.2 million gold. Okay, now I have enough gold so far, and I'm gonna activate her. So six star gives us a uh, damage reduction, which is really good for Angel Woman, especially since it's a skill type Digimon, and you can have her in the front row. And we're gonna let me change here for Angel Woman here, and we're gonna click on evolution here and go to challenge. Now, bear in mind that Mastermon is uh, is out, so you'll you'll need to six star Angel Woman anyway if you want to get Mastermon. Now, the best thing about Angel Woman is, is buffs and debuffs. So you saw that it gives defense down, and then it gave break up to itself. All right. Now, a lot of people actually use. Um, they use Angel Woman, but for me, I don't know why. Like I'm, not, I wasn't fan of like uh, of a skill type Digimon until, uh, well, until the Mastermon is coming out. So I'll be using Mastermon. Now talking Mastermon, she's already out. Uh, I'm going to breed here and going to Fusion. You can see that she's here already, and it requires to have uh, both Angel Woman and Lady Devimon at 75,000 battle power, both at six stars, right? And you need ten. Um, Awaken Aloys, and you need 6 million gold, guys. Look, that's 6 million gold, so keep in mind, you need 6 million gold for this. That's the only downhill of it. But on the top, other hand, I mean, let's go to its uh, fates. Its fates are pretty easy to get. Gargamon, Xdemon, Afanimon, Garudamon, Gargamon. Now, it's, yes, I have all three. You can get these in the first few levels of the game, let's say, like to level 50 to 70, maybe. Now its skills, um, its skills are really good. So it's mostly focused on one v one. So attack a single target enemy and have chance for buff. Have twenty percent chances to increase attack, defense, critical rate, and anti block rate, which can be stacked. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And its ultimate skill, after praying, a funny monster turns a beam to the to cast three spears from the heaven and deal damage to single target enemy with chances to cast debuff. To enemies have 30% chances to increase attack, defense, and 30% chances to be controlled. That's pretty nice. Wow, 30% chances to be controlled. <laughs> and it's domin dominion of God, dominion of God. I think I'm trying to say maybe uh, in battle one can decrease attack for attack type Digimon by 14.7. Now, uh, you know, when a lot of people say that, um, of oh, is re really strong against attack type Digimon. Now the reason for that is because of this this skill, and its soul is increased 160 fewer at the start of the fight. This has a good soul as well, because if you look at let's say Silkmon Soul for example, increased 120 times each time attack, even though it's a skill type Digimon. That's the only downfall of it. And other skill type Digimon kind of have similar. Every time you receive damage. 48 uh, each time you have, each time attack. But uh, then again, uh, Angel Woman is a plus 15.5 Digimon though. So guys, once you reach uh, battle power 75,000, you know you don't need to really use Angel Woman anymore. And if you're going for Mastermon, all you need is six stars. And make sure you buy your um, shards every time you have a chance from the shop. So uh, you, what you could do is put Angel Woman in here, but you don't really need to because mine is level 75, I just need the battle power, that's all I need. So uh, what do you guys think of Mastermind so far? And uh, also about Angel Woman as well. Did, like, Now, when I was, I want to talk about Angel Woman and Cubimon because I use Cubimon on my team and on my other account, and Cubimon is really useful compared to Angel Woman. 
especially for your team. Uh, QB Mon uh, Safiya Mon would be more useful in your team than Andrew Woman would because Safiya Mon of a silence, a silence like mostly always guaranteed. But Andrew Woman books not from personally for me are not always always there. And plus this helped a lot with silence of the ultimate skill of enemy Digimon. On my other account, I went for um, Sakuyamon instead of uh, Gatamon, and uh, I managed to catch up with other people very fast. So if I would say for team-wise, Sakuyamon would be more useful than Ophanimon. But then again, if you want to get Mastermon, which is a, eventually will be a plus 17 Digimon, uh, sorry, plus 16, and um, because of that, it's very easy to get even for free to play. Alright guys, I'll leave it at that. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them down below what you guys think about this. Um, before I do anything else, I just want to check out the uh, Offani Mon's ultimate skill. Attack up again. See what awaits us in the next round. Oh my god. Alright, so let's go with Ophanimon here. So you see it's attack down, defense rate down, and no buffs for itself. Though. It's skill, attack up, defense up. It's pretty nice too. Attack up and defense up is like a Seedramon's skill. The Seedramon's skill is always guaranteed though. That's why if you would see Jamon and a funny one together, uh, in some cases, see Jamon would always win. Alright, so I'll leave it there, guys. Uh, thanks for watching and take care, everyone.